Servus and welcome back, it's Old Moo again and in this video, as promised, I will teach you how to upload our own.tv intermission banners to your OBS and add the proper text panels with the correct font to your stream overlays. So if you watch the first videos, you can already tell that we have a starting and a be right back banner already set up. So in this video, we will focus on creating the last missing banner, which is the ending banner. First, we have to start off by creating a new scene. We're going to go into the scenes on the bottom left corner, click on add and now create a new scene. We're going to name the scene ending, click OK. And now we have an empty ending scene created. All we have to do now is go into sources, click on add source and add a media source. Now we have to name the source and we're going to call it ending banner. Click OK. Now we have an empty file. Then all you have to do is locate the package you purchased at om.tv, double click, go into files, open up the animated intermission banners and then choose the banner you want to add. In this case, we're going with the Brave intermission ending banner, including social media channels. Double click and don't forget to click on loop. Confirm with OK and that's already it. But now as promised, I will show you how to add text files for your social media names. You click add in the sources, you choose text, you choose an existing one or you create a new one. In this case, I already have one called old Moo, and I will use this. Click on OK. And now I've added the text file. And now all I have to do is resize it and position it. And this would be it. Now you just have to copy it and position it and you're done. But we're not done yet because I promised to show you how to get the proper font working for our stream design packages. All you have to do is locate your package like this, then open quick start fonts. And here you can see all the fonts used in this package. Now you just have to open each individual file and click the install button on the top left corner. Wait a couple of seconds and done. One important note, once you install the new font, you have to restart OBS for it to recognize it. So now that you restarted OBS, all that's left to do is to right click the text file, click on properties and then select font. You scroll down until you find the new font that you just updated. In this case, the font was called Europhonic. Click on Europhonic. OK. OK again. And now, as you can see, the font has changed. All we have to do is resize it, position it, and we're done. Well, we're almost done because, of course, we have to copy and paste it. To do so, click on the text file, right click, and then choose copy. To paste, just right click into the sources. And now, as you can see, there's two options to paste. Paste reference and paste duplicate. Why is this important and good to understand? If you choose paste reference, it means that your new copy will always reference the original copy. That means if you change the font in the original file, the font will also be changed in the reference files. On the contrary, if you decide to use paste duplicate, you create a whole new independent copy of the original file. But as I said before, in this case, we'll choose the reference option. We add in two reference text files and now all we have to do is move them to the right position. And now we're done. We have the perfect font matching our stream design and we can just repeat this process with all our intermission banners. One final tip I can give you is to start grouping your sources early on. To group your sources, all you have to do is left click them and then use shift and left click to mark all the files in your range. Right click them and choose the option group selected items. Now you can name the group. We're going to call it ending group. And now you have a group. And as you can see here, I can close and open the group and my sources are much, much cleaner. If you've been streaming for a while, you know how messy sources can get because you just add in and forget about certain sources. To avoid a messy source section, it is recommended to start grouping early on so that you keep control over your sources. Also, if you're new to this video, this is a whole playlist and we will explain every element that you can add to OBS, Stream Elements, Streamlabs or on Pro that you purchase at ONT.TV. We're doing short and very specific videos to help you get the information that you actually need instead of watching a 50 minute video every time. We hope these videos help you and you enjoy the product and I see you in the next video.